In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a StatCounter.com code as well as a Google Analytics code to your iWeb site using Rage Software's iWeb SEO tool, which is a free tool available at RageSW.com. The first thing I'm going to do is load up my website. You can either open up your website that you have published to a folder or load your iDisk sites. Now that I have my site loaded, I'm going to press the Site Settings tab. The field box that says Analytics Code is where I want to put my codes from the third-party sites. First, I'm going to show you how to add the StatCounter.com code. So in my browser, my code is already there for me to copy. Going back to iWeb SEO tool, I select one of the HTML files and simply paste the code into the Analytics Code field box. I then click on the Apply to Entire Site button, and now the StatCounter tracking code is placed on all of my pages within the site. The same method applies to the Google Analytics code. In my browser, the code is already ready for me to copy. Back in iWeb SEO tool, once again, I simply paste the copied code and click on the Apply to Entire Site button. And that's how easy it is to add StatCounter.com or Google Analytics to your website using this tool. Now I just want to quickly show you how to use the remainder of this tool. The other options we have to use are title tags, meta tags, and images. The custom meta tags are for more advanced users, so don't worry about them right now. If I want to change one of my title tags, I click on the title tag tab, and then click on the page that I want to change. Then I type in my new title tag, and then hit the apply button. You can repeat this process for all the titles that you want to change. It is recommended that every single page have a different title. The same process goes for the meta tags. Click on the meta tags tab and type in your website description and then type in all the keywords that are relevant to your site. When you're done, hit the apply button. If you're unsure what keywords to use, you can use another free product by Rage Software called SE Keyword. For your images, click on the images tab and then double click on the alternative text that you want to change. Type in your new alternative text and then repeat this process for as many images as you want. Then hit the Apply button. Remember to be descriptive with your alternative text. Avoid using image titles such as Picture 21 or IMG 03. Once you're done, you can publish your website directly from this tool. More videos explaining some of the items mentioned in this video can be viewed at www.aptorial.com.